These are the Peter's hind fields. Zomer would probably want you to harvest at least two fallow deer. I know Gerlinde usually finds a good position by the fields and lures them out. If you have an antler rattler, it'll come in handy. Don't worry, they'll show up eventually. Lure hunting takes a bit of patience, but getting that perfect shot makes it all worth it. You got one? Great. Don't forget to harvest it. Then on to another. There you go. Another one. I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomer is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Gerlinde sends her regards for your help with the fallow deer. She was wondering if you could help out with another photo for her book. It seems you did a great job with the last one. This time, she wants a picture of a fallow deer with Königsberg Lake in the background. I'd recommend southeastern Pietesheim for it. The vistas are great, and you often see fallow deer around there. and he's made more than a few friends in the outfitting sector. They often ask him to test out new products to endorse them, so you'll always see him with some new gadget. Good, so if you're stalking it, make sure to sneak up behind it. This is the area I was talking about. You'll be able to get a great shot of Gimmicksberg Lake here. It's hard to miss, since it's one of the largest lakes in Central Europe, second deepest. Gerlinda wants a fairly detailed shot, so make sure you're not too far away. <laughs> 